Oh, this is so cool. This is like Pokemon. Check it out. Uh, Terranodon, I choose you. What? That is cool. That is cool. Good day, friends. Welcome back to a world of blocks and dinosaurs. I'm talking, of course, about Pixar. Look at this. There's a Megalodon there. That has six of those symbols. I think that means how strong it is. Oh, I need to swim up. I need to breathe. I need to breathe. <gasps> There we go. Okay, I just want to look at it. I hope it doesn't eat me. I've never seen a Megalodon before in this game, and that's an Ichthyosaurus, I think. And that's one of those cool, look, uh, uh, cool, cool things. Those are one of those cool things. I've never even looked in the water. This is like right next to my base, and I've never even looked to see exactly what it looks like in the water. That's pretty cool. Okay. Anyway, I've made a lot of progress on the tower. And I don't know what you're thinking. It's only been a few days. I know. I've been playing this like crazy. I've been really excited about this game and I want to play it so much more. Um, so let me show you what I've done. What's happening? I'm stuck in the door. Don't make me stuck in the door again. Sometimes you get stuck in the door. Uh, let's see what changes have I made. Of course, I have added bigger doors uh, because I tamed the Pteranodon in the last episode, as you guys know, and it was down here. Then I completed this floor. Then I realized I couldn't get the Pteranodon out of here because of the small door. So I replaced them with big doors. But what I spent the most time on was completely excavating downstairs area now we actually have another room the exact same size down here it should be the exact same size check it out an underground basically this will be the basement and i've decided to make this into this uh storage instead because this is the basement at first i wanted to put some dinosaurs in here but i don't know it's just too dark and all just cold stone and stuff this is not a place to keep dinosaurs i will make a proper outside place with fences around it for the dinosaurs i think i will make that and not put the dinosaurs here i will make this into a huge storage area and then i also increased um i also improved the upstairs area let me show you that first of course we have her this still looks the same basically almost uh this room but i've made it higher i've decided that one uh, the, the top floor, basically the roof actually, is going to be right here. I didn't make a floor here yet. But this is going to be the height of the top floor, the roof, where the flying dinosaurs will be. And then maybe you can go up a little bit more for like a tiny top room. I haven't really decided yet. Oh, well there's an example of me getting stuck in the door again. There we go. If you close it too fast when you're still standing inside of it, it just traps you. So I will make this floor right here into like the main living floor. I I'm going to divide it into rooms. Um, really, I'm stuck. In what am I stuck in now? I keep getting stuck. What is going on? Anyway, I will, I will divide it into rooms, like a little kitchen type of room, bedroom, maybe like a little treasure room or something along those lines. Um, so this is more like the living part. And yeah, that's why this is not as high. So it, it just feels like um, more like a house. But I'm definitely, of course, going to change a lot about it because right now it's just stone. So I really want it to have like colors and windows and decorations. It's, it's going to have everything. You know, I'm so new to this game. I don't even know what that there is in terms of that but i want to make the most awesome base ever i've already drawn out a design for this tower which leaves like a flat area on top of it and on top of that i'm going to make like some kind of statue or something like that i want to make something really cool but i have not decided what but i'm going to put like a ni really nice statue on top maybe i'll make a dodo statue i love dodos in this game maybe i'll make a dodo statue or something else anyway Let's actually have a look at it from uh, the outside. Okay, so it's, uh, it's starting to look like a proper tower. All right, over here we have my um, creative account that I talked about in the last episode. I do realize that it sounds kind of weird that I have a creative mode account here. I just want to make clear that I haven't actually used it for anything other than checking this world before I started playing. Uh, that's a tip I got from Frisonis. Uh, he said it in one of his videos. I didn't get it personally. He said it in one of his videos. If you don't know Frisonis, a cool YouTube channel. Shout out to him. He makes Pixar and ARC videos. Basically, he said before you start playing 
Pig's Ark, play it in creative mode and check the map so you know that you have a good world. Because sometimes you just get a world that's like just desert or just snow and, and like the biomes are all messed up. So um, this, I think I really like this one. I'm not sure if I've shown it yet. Uh, I really like that it has a little bit of everything. It doesn't have a lot of desert and mountain forest, but still enough. Because even though on the map it looks like it's not a lot, uh, when you get there, it actually it's like enough. It's enough to get there and get what you want from there. There are not biomes that I want to live in anyway, so I don't have a problem with that. I think this is a really nice... Um, a little bit of every biome and to the bottom left you just have this huge frozen land which is pretty cool i think so yeah i really love this map um and that's really the only reason the only uh thing i use that account for i just wanted to make that clear that i'm not that i actually made this entire tower legit oh and there's a quest thing that i was talking about in the last episode let's do a quest finally i've been i've been seeing all of these uh all over the place but I couldn't get the quest from them because I wanted to wait until I was recording. So I've not done a single quest. So here we go. Okay, I got a quest from it. Master of Taming. Difficulty... It, do it doesn't say what difficulty it is. I can check the quest screen. Uh, difficulty 1. That's what I was thinking because the quest is to tame a Fiomia with a purple berry. Now, I already have the purple berries in my, my feeding spot, which is the last spot, the zero spot. So I just give it to it and a few more times and then it will be tamed and then I will do the quest. And then I will get a quest reward and that's how you do quests in this game. It's pretty simple, the concept is simple, but some of the quests are pretty hard, I'm get guessing. Because this one is difficulty 1, so the easiest, but... I guess the, um, the higher level quest will be like, defeat the bosses or the strongest dinosaurs or... Tame like one of the strongest dinosaurs, I guess that's what they will be. Okay, want another berry? They poop so much, look at this. Look at this, they, they, again! They poop so much, and it's insane. Like, I've tamed a few of these before, and they poop, like, a total of, like, 20 times when you're taming them. It's insane. Look at that. Boom. Two at a time. It's, how? I'm feeding you the tiniest berries in the world. Like, tiny, tiny berries. And you're pooping it up. Look, again. How? How? How is that possible? Okay. There we go. I'm not gonna name you. Am I? You're a male. Let's see if something comes to me. You will be called... You know what, Brutus. I don't even know why. I don't know why. I just have that just name inspiration, I guess. Just a name. Sometimes something just feels like this. You just feel like a Brutus to me, okay? I don't know why. I absolutely have no reason for that. Okay, what do I get? What do I get for the quest? What do I... Ooh, I get an apprentice spear. A copper weapon with longer reach than most melee weapons. A, oh, an actual, a, an actual better axe, a, a Mastercraft stone axe. Okay, wait, why, what does it mean, Mastercraft? What does Mastercraft mean? I don't know what that means, but I was using my wood axe still, because it only takes, with the wood axe, it only takes three chops, so I was absolutely fine with that. Uh, a Pecky saddle. Ooh, I can ride Peckies. Uh, Firestone powder. That's pretty cool. And ch ch Chitin? Chitin. Chi Chitin, chitin, can be used as an adhesive, has a wide range of use, I have no idea, it's probably a crafting thing, that's, that, that's some useful stuff. Okay, so do you think that this spare is any good? Um, I just got a spare. Wanna try it out? Wanna try out the spare, see if it's any good? Hiya! Hiya, fear me! Okay, he fears me. Okay, something fight me, I have a spare, let's see, can I one hit him? Two hit. No! Four, five. Six. Okay, the spear is definitely not as good with the sword. There we go. Okay, so the spear is not good. It's it's probably pretty good if you throw it, but I wasn't doing that. Okay, so I have absolutely no plans right now for this video right here. Um, so let's explore the grassland for a little bit. Uh, there's a lot of ravines in this game. Look at this. There's so many ravines everywhere. So many ravines. It's all just... Wow, in this game you really gotta watch your step where you're just going to fall into a ravine. Okay, I don't really see a lot in this biome, in the grassland biome. Wait, get out the map again. It's called the grassland. There's not a lot of here. I thought when I was in a different world, I saw like a house. And at first I thought that someone had built it. But then I realized, hey, that house just spawns here. It's like a prefab. I don't see any right now though. I don't see any. Oh! Wait, is that the edge of the world? I think that's the edge of the world. Look at that. It's like the invisible 
Invisible shield, invisible wall. It's like from the Hunger Games. It's like that thing from the Hunger Games. Oh! Oh, we got a parasaur here. Oh, that's pretty cool. What are parasaurs good for again? I think carrying stuff, maybe collecting... Was it berries? They were good for collecting something. Okay, what's the next biome we should check out? Uh, Mountain Forest is all the way over there. I guess we could go there, but we will pass like four other biomes on the way. So let's have a look. Let's just have a look at all the biomes. I haven't really explored or looked around that much. I've just been around my base building it. Um, and the only time I've ever seen all the other biomes was when I was on my creative character just loading up different worlds. That actually took many hours. Just just like at least three hours straight of me just making a world, checking, looking on the map. Oh, this is a horrible world. It just has grassland and nothing else. And then moving on, deleting the world and remaking a new world, etc. That's, that's what I just did for three hours in order to get this world. But I'm really happy with this. I think this looks really nice. Okay, do, we, do you need a break? Do you need a break, Becky, or whatever your name is? Wait, is this a female? Then I can call you Becky. If you don't have a name yet. Do you have a name yet? Do, are you a female? Oh, it's a male. Becky sounds like a female name. Wait, what is this? Is this sand? Oh, it is sand. Okay, that's pretty cool. Wait, what? I just turned it into a block. Wait, that... I just watched a video on that, like a few days ago. I watched a video on how to turn your dinosaurs into blocks. And it said that you needed something for that, that I didn't have. But I can just use it. Oh, this is so cool. This is like Pokemon. Check it out. Uh, Pteranodon, I choose you. What? That is cool. That is cool. I wonder if that changes their uh, tame time, right? Because there's a limited time that you can tame an animal. So... When they're in a block, does that, that time timer just freeze or does it still continue? I don't know. That's weird. I was like, whoa, what's... Oh, it's my base. It's my base. <laughs> uh, Firefly, I actually want you to come with me. Can I get it? <gasps> Did I get it? No, I just jumped off. I jumped, uh, I jumped off the flying mount and fell to my death. Great. Great. At least when we respawn, we get a nice view of the tower. That's... 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 Looking at it from the positive side. Look, a nice view of the tower. Look at that. Doesn't that look cool? Okay. Ah, uh, why did I do that? I was just trying to grab the firefly because it's getting dark. Hey, Brutus. How are you doing? I didn't... I totally didn't just die. Hey, get out of my house. Get out. <sighs> there we go. Can I have my stuff back? I die all the time. Where's my... This is a different Pteranodon. Where's my Pteranodon? Where's my Pteranodon? Maybe it landed somewhere. And you, can you come down? I, I need you. I need light. I'm so confused. Give me a firefly. There we go. I'm taking this firefly. Um, hey, turtle. Can you get... Okay, let me pass, please. Thank you so much. Uh, where's my own Pteranodon? Where is... Hello? Where is my Pteranodon? Oh, God. Oh, God. Nope, I'm going to die. Nope, 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 nope. I still can't find my Pteranodon. Where is my Pteranodon? Is it seriously not up there? Couldn't be down here. Because this is my basement. How, there, there's no possible way for it to have gotten here. Get out of my house. Get out. Pteranodon. Pteranodon. I... I'm so confused. It has to be here. I thought I just saw it with a saddle, but they all have like these dark patches on their back. So maybe it wasn't him. Is that him? I should make all the other dodos inside as well. <gasps> what? Why are you down? <sighs> Serious? Why is he down there? Okay, well, at least now I know where he is. Wait, let me get a little sip. <sighs> Delicious. There we go. There you are. I lost you. I lost you. Becky, who isn't called Becky. Oh, this looks beautiful. What? This looks so cool. Dude, it's a Sarko female, level 31. It's so strong. It can probably even kill a, a Triceratops. So even if I would tame a Triceratops, it could still be killed by those Sarkos that won't just stay in a swamp. They keep getting out of the swamp, just like the raptors. Now I'm setting you... Now I'm setting you to follow me. Oh god, no, ride! Quick, quick. <gasps> oh my god, oh my god. That was so close. That was so close. A raptor started biting him. Oh, that was so close. Wait, is that lava? Oh, that might be lava because we are at the Doomlands, which has lava. 
What? There's just lava right next to water. That's crazy. Doomlands is the most dangerous zone. Okay, and then here you have desert and the golden forest. Um, I guess the desert, we can all sort of imagine what it looks like. Basically very similar to what it also looks like in Minecraft. Uh, I actually want a cactus. You know what? Can I get a cactus? I love... I have so many cacti in real life. Oh god. Oh god. Nope. Are you serious? I wasn't even on the ground. You are mean. Okay, never mind. Ooh, that is magic forest over there. Look at those trees. <gasps> like runescape magic trees. Like they're sparkling. Oh, that is so cool. That is so cool. The magic forest. Okay, shouldn't fly so fast. Actually, there, he has plenty of energy. I spent some of his level up points on energy, so... Oh my god, was that a griffin? Is that aggressive? Please don't be aggressive. Don't be an aggressive griffin. What? Look at that. Magic forest. This is so cool. No, wait, this isn't the golden forest. At least on the map, it looks like the dark forest. Wait, then what does the golden forest look like? If this is not... If this is the... This doesn't look like a dark forest at all. Oh, look at this. Beautiful red trees. Oh, so the golden... This is the golden forest. So that one was the dark. Okay, yeah, now I can see it. Now I understand that that one is darker. Oh, <gasps> a fairy dragon. Fairy dragon. Oh, wait, what if they're aggressive? I, should, I probably shouldn't get too close. Just in case they're aggressive. But look at that. They look so cool. Look at the way that this cave is shaped. That is absolutely awesome. That is very cool. Wait a minute, are those those trees that turn into like those uh, tree ants or whatever they're called? Those flying tree things? Do they turn into those living trees? I think so. And what is this? Like a big staff? It's like a big staff here. What is this? What? Magic forest is awesome. Okay, finally we are here in the mountain forest all the way in the northwest. Um, it looks pretty cool. It has like bamboo and it has pandas in it, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, let's see if it's... Is it hard? It is not that hard. It is easier than swamp, according to the map. So I'm going to land here because my Terranodon is a bit tired. I hope nothing kills it or me. Um... But yeah, that was pretty cool. Just a quick look at every single one of the um, biomes. And I can't wait to explore them in depth. Oh god, that doesn't look nice, actually. Is that like a boar that is on fire? Okay, I don't want I don't want to mess with that, actually. Can we get... Can we... Can you not push me away? I, maybe we can see a panda. Wait, can I see a panda before I end the video? Can I see a panda bear? Can I see a panda bear? <gasps> wait... Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Oh, and a wolf. Okay, nope, I won't land then. I won't land <laughs> because there's a wolf. Look at the panda bear. It must be really strong, don't you think? Panda bears in real life, they're actually really strong. They look so peaceful. And they want to just eat bamboo most of the time. But they're super... I think they're really strong, aren't they? So that would be pretty cool to tame a panda bear. It's probably very good for like gathering wood then or gathering bamboo like what other skills would it have i don't know <laughs> anyway yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and tell me what you think of the series and apart from that i hope you're having an awesome day don't forget to stomp like a dinosaur